I am starting the 21 day fix extreme today. I am nervous. I am excited. I'm ready to go. It's been a long summer. I have fallen completely off of the health and fitness wagon for the most part. The last time I've been this undedicated to any sort of fitness routine was way back in 2012 before I started Insanity and that kind of kick started my health and fitness lifestyle. I am planning on going all in because I just feel horrible. I feel tired. I feel aches and pain. I of course have gained weight in areas that I'm not used to holding weight. These videos are a bit nerve wracking for me every time I post anything like this because I always receive a ton of comments from people telling me that you're not fat. I wish that my starting point was your, your ending or your starting point. Um, and just on and on and on about how I have no right to share my results when I didn't even lose weight. I think what people fail to realize is that this lifestyle is not about the weight loss for me. The biggest reason I even record, you know, pounds lost and inches lost is because I record that for people who want to know. But for me, it's more of a desire to just be healthy for me, for my family. I want to inspire others to put their health as a priority. And so that's what I'm doing. I am excited to bring you guys along on the journey. Thank you for always inspiring me and motivating me and encouraging me. And I just, I'm ready to share this with you. So we're gonna do this, let's go. It's day one. miserable and I'm gonna go drink my recovery drink it was very obvious to me today that I am way out of shape which I knew I was gonna be um, I ran to the bathroom to throw up twice and I just felt like my muscles could not keep up today they are definitely out of practice it felt like my muscles literally could not push anymore so day one but I got through it I'm drinking my recovery drink and tomorrow we are coming back for day two. It is day three of the 21 Day Fix Extreme. I am wearing some heat intensifying capris from Delphine Spa because I am so sore that I feel like I can literally feel every tear in the muscle. So I'm hoping that these will keep my muscle warm during the workouts and help kind of decrease some of that muscle soreness. So day three, I'm sore, I'm tired, but we're doing this. Just finished day four, drinking my rest and recovery drink. Day four was tough because Monday was plyo fix and I have been so sore from that that if my husband or kids even touched my legs or climbed on my legs, I was almost brought to tears. And day four is leg day, so it felt good and it felt bad because my legs were still sore, so it made my body more tired, it was harder to get through the workout, but I also felt like it put necessary work on my legs. It kind of warmed the muscle up and made the soreness decrease. So 
Day four is done. I'm about to eat my second breakfast. So far, so good. Done with Upper Fix Extreme. And I, I feel happy. You know, I woke up this morning thinking, wow, it is getting really hard to press play on these workouts. Like I know that I'm gonna struggle, but I can already tell that I'm getting stronger and the workouts are not as, I don't wanna say they're not difficult, but they're not as miserable. Um, and the first week back was miserable. I hated my life, it was so hard. I was taking so many breaks. And now I'm finding that I can get through the one minute of workouts on the majority of the exercises. It is day 11. I have a few more days of the second week and on to the third week. I just got done taking some progress photos which I will insert here. So now I am just eating the breakfast that I eat every morning on the competition day. There's two competition days where you eat a certain way and then you get a third day off where it's a little more relaxed and you put a little more extra calories and carbs into your diet. Really simple, no fuss, overnight oats. All that is is oatmeal, water, and a splash of vanilla because I ran out of cinnamon. Today was one of the hardest workouts thus far. Um, it was day I don't know what it was. Week two, day five, cardio fix extreme. I was just dead today. I was so tired. Towards the end, I started feeling just dizzy. I got a headache, but I knew I had to get it done and I had to push myself because this weekend, we are going away to a regional, a regional swim meet. So I will be in a hotel tonight and then tomorrow, me and my daughter are going to the Taylor Swift concert. So. I will be gone all day tomorrow and I'm gonna have to make adjustments in my diet and whatnot. So that was tough, but we're still pushing. We're not giving up. The final week of the 21 Day Fix Extreme. I just got done with week three, day one, Plyo Fix Extreme, and I'm tired. The first time I did this, this disc, it felt impossible. I was in so much pain, my legs actually gave out, gave out on me to the point where I couldn't even continue the move if I wanted to. My legs would not move. I'm and I took long extended breaks. So today we're seeing progress. I am seeing crazy changes in my body, which I've shown you guys earlier in the video. And I'm excited to see where I am six more days from now. So we're almost there, we're almost, almost to the finish line and I'm really excited to see where I can take my body. It is week two, day two, but I woke up this morning and I had lost three more pounds so I think in total I'm down eight pounds from day one, which is exciting. I wasn't worried about losing weight, but to see my body changing and then to see you know, the number dropping, it shows that progress is being made. So now I am just meal, prep, meal prepping, making my life stupid simple. So I already have a bunch of stuff prepped, like I have eggs in the fridge and I have sweet potatoes in the fridge, peas, that kind of thing. Um, I buy rotisserie chickens. For, I started this last week because it just makes it so easy and I keep it in a big bin like this Say hello to Phoenix. Hello. Hello, and then I have in here. I have Broccoli and okra bake today is Pilates fix in the last week And this disc uses a resistance band the entire time but I have broke four resistance bands So rather than skip it all together. I'm gonna make it work using free weights Just got done on lower body fix extreme. And I think all my time on YouTube, the one thing I've never told you guys is that 
A workout can make my muscles tired, it can make me cardiovascularly exhausted, but I can push through that. But the thing that I have the most mental, like, mental battle with is when my whole body is drenched in sweat. It makes me feel really claustrophobic. But I got through today's workout. I'm drenched in sweat. I wanted to stop, but I didn't. So this day is done. It is day 22 of the 21 day fix, and this is gonna be how much I weigh at the end, plus the weight of my phone, which is like nothing. 134.4.